Hi guys, Travis Swag here with another deck profile. And giving you a look at my hero deck. And I just, I did just do a uh, deck profile on my channel probably about a week or so ago for heroes. But I recently got a bunch of stuff that I actually needed for the deck. So the deck's build has changed a bit. So I wanted to give you guys the updated deck list here. So let's get right into it. Um, take a look at the main deck first. Both the main deck and the extra deck has changed actually a fair bit so first off three shadow mist this is the main card of the main deck because it searches everything that you need so run at three is a must then next up two elemental hero 420 blaze it or blaze man um, this is a pretty good card it can pretty much be any hero you want from your deck and it combos good to Shadow Mist, searches Polymerization for nice fusion plays. It's pretty good. I'm running at two right now, see how it goes. Maybe drop it down to one. I'll see. Got those. And two L one zero Neos aliases. Uh, most people just run one. I do like running two just because you can get those fusion and mass hero light monster plays off. And I just really like the 1900 beater aspect of the card. I really like that. Two bubble man. I see a lot of people run three. I only run two. I'll see about maybe bumping up to three. I still gotta test it a bit, but I do like it at two. I think it's good at two. Um, three might be a little cloggy. Um, it is really good, especially some of the drawing. I think the top deck's really strong with this, and you got a, a lot of plays from the fusion extra deck as well with this card. Then for the non-heroes, one Gollumberg. If I had another one, I'd probably run this at two. But one's still good. I mean, I still get it easily because you search it with Rota or whatever and you get the plays off anyway, so it's still really good. But one at least. And then the two Summoner Monks, again, just really good at Shadow Mist and all that. Get some nice plays off with it. And that is the monster count of the deck. Next up, we will look at the spells, which is pretty hefty. A lot of spells in this. So first off, your three mass change. This is pretty staple for any hero deck now, just so you can get their claw and all that out. You need three mass change. No, I don't run ma mass change second anymore. I just found I was never using it, so I took it out. Um, two form change. This goes really good with Anki. You can go for OTK plays and all that. So I really like running this card. I think two is really good. Three is way too cloggy. Two is pretty good. So I like running that two. One mass charge. I bumped it down to one instead of two. I found two was a bit cloggy. So I think one's really good for this card because if you want to draw it late game rather than early game, and early game is pretty much useless. Two with Hero Lives. I'm only running at two now rather than three. I'm going to see how this goes. Um, I found three. I was just drawing it way too much when I didn't need it. Um, so we're going to draw it down to see how it goes. But two Hero Lives. Three Reinforcement of the Army. It's pretty self explanatory. It's a searcher, searcher goblin, and pretty much everything in your deck besides Summoner Monk. Two MST. Traps aren't as much as of an issue, so you, know, you only need two side the third one. Then for the one-offs, you got Regeki here. Free self-explanatory. Forbidden Lance. Running at one, thinking about running at two, not sure yet. But it's really good. You use it to definitely protect your Dark Law. That's definitely what you want to use that for. Emergency Call just for another search. Polymerization, so you have a target for Blaze Man's effect. And two Miracle Fusions, because they're running a fair amount of the fusions, so two Miracle Fusions. Then for the traps, moving on. We have two Call of the Haunted. Three is way too cloggy, but two is really good. Really good Shadow Mist. Two Mirror Force, it's pretty staple now. And I mean, two is really good with Dark Law. It's just awesome. Defissure on your opponent's side for days. 
And then for your one-offs, you got one Vanity's Emptiness, one Compulse, one Bottomless, one Crush card because Sham is the target, and one Solemn Warning. I was thinking about taking a Solemn Warning out, but I actually found I was using it, so I'm keeping it for now. Those are the traps. Now, last but not least, move on to the extra deck. So first off, one Contrast Hero Chaos. I pretty much don't see any hero players running this card. I'm thinking about dropping it, we'll see, but I just, I really like to run it. I mean, I don't use it too much, but I have used it before, and it ha it's won me games, and I think it still is a really good card. I mean, 3,000 attack, it's not overly hard to get out as long as your mask changing a lot, and just really good. I think it's really good. I think it's worth running at one. Uh, two Dark Law. Dropped it from three down to two to make room, basically. I think you only... I think you should run this at two. I think one is way too little. You have to run this at least two, and even three doesn't hurt either. Because you can, at times, really run through them. One Master Anki. Uh, it's just really good card. Good for OTKs and all that and searching your mass changes. One Master Acid, good, definitely good to combo up with Ab Zero, and just blows through that back row, so it's really good. One Master Okoga, not running at two anymore, don't need to, I got the stuff to fill now, so just one. You're probably not going to summon it that much, only when you need to get past a big monster, but it is good for that, so definitely, run, definitely worth running at one. The Master of Divine Wind, not a lot of people running this, but... If you're running form change, I think you should run this because you can summon it with form change. So I have it in there for that. And it is still a pretty decent card. Then, for normal fusions, Elmond's Hero, The Shining. Just a fantastic card. Um, I played it and it's just really good. Can get over big monsters and all that. Just really good card. Definitely want to be running one of these guys. And then, Elmond's Hero, Absolute Zero. Again, another really good card. Play this, mass change it into. Acid, you just, you're just massive board destruction. It's really, really good. That's all the fusions. Now onto XEs, they are all rank fours. So first off, Abyss Dweller, pretty self-explanatory. Heroic Champion Excalibur for those OTKs and getting over big monsters. Gaga Cowboy for game. Heartland Drago for game. Digusto Emerald. Thinking about taking this out. Not sure yet, but it is really good. You can special summon your Neos Aliases if you want, or you can just shuffle a monster in the, in the deck and draw a card. So this is really good. And then Evil Storm X Town Knight in case you need it. And that is the extra deck. Anyways, that is the deck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I think it's it runs pretty good. I mean, I played it a little bit. I think it runs pretty good. Um, is the most optimal build. Probably not, but it's really not that bad either. So, um, I definitely recommend giving it a try. Maybe not exact build, but it's definitely really fun. I really love playing this deck. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.